Kenny on this robot. And uh, pretty much what it is, it's just a robot with wheels that can grab things and it's controlled both by joystick manually and can be programmed to run autonomously. And uh, this presentation will just give us our thought process that we built it. So at the beginning we had a few different ideas for what we actually wanted to build. One of the ideas was to build a robotics hand using pneumatics. We thought about making an instrument like a guitar. Uh, we thought about making a printer, and our last idea was to make a joystick control something. However, since we had, because we had so many ideas, we had to finally decide on only one idea. And uh, since we had two people, we wanted to utilize both NXTs, so the hand idea was kind of uh, kind of favorable, but it required pneumatics, and those we couldn't acquire those parts. And then the guitar idea was only used once. So. so our final idea was to make a joystick control some sort of crane arm. Of course, this wasn't our final design, but it was the basic idea we wanted to do. We wanted an arm that would pick up something and would be controlled by a joystick manually. Yeah, so here you can see our initial sketches. And uh, from this, you, you see there's a grabber arm mounted on a wheelbase. And this became kind of the basis of this, the robot we have here. Except as you can tell from the differences in the, in the actual thing in the pictures, we made some heavy modifications. Now, the first of the three parts that we had to make was the joystick. And as you can see here, what the joystick basically is, is there's two motors. One motor for sideways motion, one for forward and backwards motion. You can go around. There's a button on top that controls the arm movement up and down. And that was our joystick design. And uh, here you can see here's our grabber. And uh, the problem we had with the grabber was that because we wanted the robot to be able to turn and move efficiently, we had to use two motors for the wheelbase. And so that left only one motor for the grabber arm, which, which made it so that only one motor had to control up and down motion and grabbing motion. Now this was our original design for the wheelbase, and it had four wheels. But as you'll see, we made heavy modifications to this by using a ball caster instead of two back wheels because it would let us turn easily with less friction. And we were limited to two motors for the wheels. And as you can see here, this is our initial construction. And uh, this is the beginning of our joystick. And uh, just look at the pictures. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> OK, so the second part of our construction was to build the actual robot. And we began by building the wheelbase, and as I said before, we changed the back wheels to a ball caster because it would turn more easily. And we had two motors for the wheels. So we had one motor to control the whole arm, which is picking up and moving it up. And uh, there's some animation on this slide. And uh, the, well, one of the major problems was actually making it work once you had both the joystick and the wheelbase. And uh, we had to make the NXTs communicate with each other somehow. And it turns out we just used Bluetooth, so the joystick senses the rotation in the motors and sends that to the actual robot itself. So this first snippet of code is what we put on the joystick. What it basically does is it basically <coughs> defines what's going on. Uh, the motor detects how much the user is turning it, then it sends that information to the robot, and that number is converted to motor power. And uh, here is um, uh, more of our code. And this is the code that's actually on the robot itself. And it's, it's quite simple. All it does is in an infinite loop, it just continues receiving the variables that the, uh, the variable for motor rotation from the joystick via Bluetooth, and then it converts that to power as well. <coughs> so of course, we faced a few problems in the beginning of our process. One of the problems was that the Bluetooth didn't work as well as we hoped. And as you can see here, a lot of times the robot just wouldn't respond properly to what we were doing, and sometimes it wouldn't even respond. And uh, so we had to find solutions for this. And a lot of the problems we found were actually rewiring motors. Like a lot of motors were mismatched uh, and were different from our code. And a lot of times we also faced the problem that the Bluetooth just wasn't on. So these two snippets of code are for the joystick and the robot. And it just, in the beginning, it checks to make sure that the Bluetooth is on. All right, so after our manual mode was done, we had to make autonomous mode, where the robot can operate without the joystick. And what this basically does is it spins in a circle until it detects a ball, picks up the ball. Then it continues spinning till it sees the hoop, then just drops it into the hoop. And uh, unfortunately, uh, with the addition of autonomous mode, there were even more problems. Like, for example, sometimes the robot would go forward and take the ball straight off the bat without trying to try to find the ball. Sometimes it would turn and miss the ball. And sometimes it would finally pick up the ball, but then it would miss the hoop. All right, so to solve this solution, we found that the main problem was that since the ultrasonic sensor has two eyes, would detect something with one eye, but it wouldn't be facing it directly, so it would be kind of off. So all we did is, after it detects something, we just turned it a bit more. That would make it centered for the hoop. 
And uh, finally, we put it together, and you can see we both have a manual mode and an autonomous mode, and all in all, it made for a very versatile robot. Thank you, guys. Alright, I guess we'll demo the robot now. I don't want to do it on the table because I'm not a real good driver. Amy? <laughs> Do you mind turning on the lights, please? is that the ultrasonic sensor doesn't detect really far, so we have to put them pretty close to the robot. Yeah, that's really iffy. And I hope it doesn't detect any chair legs or anything. Yeah, it's also awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not, it's not Thank <laughs> you. 